Hey everyone, Carl here at Three Acre Paradise. And today I'm gonna to try something new. I'm going to try a method of uh, hydroponics called the Kratky method. And this is a very simple, low cost hydroponic method. Basically you don't need pumps, you don't need an aerator, you just need a container. So you can use uh, bins like these, which give you a lot of surface area for uh, multiple plants. You can use buckets use jars you can use all kinds of different things to hold the plant and what you do is essentially just suspend the plant over the water in a sealed container and as the plant draws up the water which has the nutrients in it um, the water level in the container goes down the roots will grow down to stay with that water and you end up with that air gap and that gives the roots the aeration that they need so it's a completely self-contained hydroponic system and again you don't need a power you don't need any other inputs um, very simple to set up and use so what I'm gonna do is I've got three different size bins here the one on the left was a little more expensive it's a commercial grade Rubbermaid bin I think it's uh, 10 gallons or so the next one over is a much less expensive seven gallon bin uh, I believe these are four gallon and then you need some net pots. Uh, I'm gonna use rock wool to put the actual seeds in. You need some fertilizer, and I've also got some buckets there. So you can see these, these pots here, they're basically bucket lids. And I'm gonna do something a little different with these. These are just gonna be um, a couple single plants. I'm gonna put some pepper plants in there just to see how they do in the buckets. The buckets all have to cover the sides to not let sunlight through, because you don't want bunch of algae growing in there. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna get this set up. So there's a couple things I'm testing here. Number one, I'm just seeing how well this growing system works for me here. And I'm gonna have all of these outside. The second thing is to see how these containers hold up. I've had a lot of plastic containers in the past that the sun just makes them brittle within a year and I have to pretty much just throw them away. I'm suspecting that the one on the left course most expensive and being they call it their commercial grade will hold up the best but uh, if these other ones do well that'll be nice um, typically five gallon buckets I see are good for about two to three years so since they'll be covered might last a little longer um, anyways let me get things set up here and then we will go on to the next step Okay, what I've done here is just laid out where the net pots are gonna go onto these containers. I'm gonna make this one pretty dense. So we've got uh, eight on there. Those are three inch net pots. This container, I'm gonna do four of the three inch, three three inch, and then on this one, I'm gonna do four of the two inch. And when you're doing these, I've got two different size of the rock wool. I've got uh, two inch blocks, so that's gonna go into the three inch net pots, and one and a half inch blocks for the two inch net pots. Um, luckily I already had these, all these net pots from the aquaponic system, so I didn't have to buy those, but they're pretty inexpensive. So the next step is cut the holes. That's it, just cut holes for the net pots to drop into, add the nutrient and the water to the systems, and then put in the rock wool and the seeds. So let's get those holes drilled, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, the next step is done. I've got the holes drilled in all of the containers. Now for the three inch net pots, I had to use a two and seven eighths inch bit. The three inch was just a little too big. And then the two inch net pots was actually a two inch bit, but this might vary according to what brand of net pots you get. But I used a spare bucket lid here and used different size holes to test with. So I'm actually gonna keep that and mark those holes for future reference. So the next thing to do is place these where they're gonna go. I wanna do that before I fill them because they're gonna get really heavy. And to create the fertilized water mix, what I've done is gone ahead and taken a five gallon bucket and I added water one gallon at a time and I marked it on the bucket. So I'll do this four gallons at a time. I'll mix it up in this, and then I will pour it into each of the containers right up to the point just below 
um, right when it just starts touching the net pot. That way when I put the rock wool in there and the seeds, it'll start getting moisture right away. But as soon as those roots start getting in there, they can start pulling that water level down. So let me get these placed. I will put them outside where they're gonna live for the next, I don't know, two months or so. And then I will start filling them with water and the fertilizer, and then I'll put the seeds in them. Okay, I've got my hydroponic containers in place now, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the fertilizer. This is what I'm using. It's just based on a recommendation by a local store. And when you do the fertilizer in a Kratky system, I don't know if you can read it. There's directions there for a non-recirculating system, which is what this is. Um, you wanna make sure that when you dilute your fertilizer, you dilute it correctly for a system like this. It's gonna be a lot less strong than a typical hydroponic system that's circulating. In any case, um, this one, I'm gonna use one teaspoon per gallon or one tablespoon per three gallons. And I'm gonna mix it in this bucket first and then fill the containers. Now these containers, uh, they have handles in the side and there's holes, so I won't be able to go beyond that level, but that should be plenty to get the net cups into the solution. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of buckets as well. And when these are done, I'm gonna wrap them with something to keep sunlight out, otherwise they'll end up with algae growth in there. That's gonna rob it of nutrients. And then I'll also set them on the ground just to make them a little more stable. So let me add the fertilizer liquid and then we'll come back and put the uh, rock wool and the seeds in place. Okay, I've got the crack key hydroponic systems all set up. You can see the rock wool is in place. covered the five gallon buckets with just uh, plastic, just uh, plastic sheeting. I just taped it on there. Um, anytime you do this, use what's called gaffing tape. Works much better than duct tape. Uh, I've used it on my aquaponic system and it held up really well through the weather. I'll put a link to that in the notes on this video. And what I did is I planted a couple peppers in here. One dadle pepper, one habanado. Habanado is kind of neat if you've never heard of it. It's like a habanero, but without the heat. And I put various lettuces and um, leafy green type of things into these. And you can see I put numbers next to each plant. And then inside I've got a, a list of what's planted where so I can just see how they do. See if the containers make any difference. Everything else about them is the same. I'm using the same fertilizer. I did not adjust the pH in the water. So I just took it right out of the faucet. I'm on well water. So it should be pretty good. And what I'll do is just come back here in two weeks and see how everything's doing.